What's up, everybody? This is Dark Geese. I just wanted to give, I know we do a yearly, I don't know, update or expectations of the scene. Well, I'm going to change it this time. It's going to be a comparison of the USA SNK community compared to the Mexican SNK community because uh, that is where my focus is now, uh, changing. Um, basically, you know, I see a lot of the same stuff that's been happening, and um, it just seems like, you know, things are continuing to spin, the, uh, spin their wheels. And I'm just at the point right now where I've been doing this for five years, six years, and seeing. Uh, people who are actually appreciated of things in Mexico that I choose to focus my time in Mexico. Uh, and I mean, basically, what y'all have to understand is this is more than just about me, as I've told you all. This is about people like The Answer, Gibby, uh, who have tried the stuff and you know, ran into the same type of stuff. You run into a bunch of people who are unappreciative, uh, people that you know still stay at the same skill level, uh, people who uh, it's just all that stuff. It just it just it's. It, it just makes you seem like you're spinning your wheels, and you are. I mean, I, I feel like I'm spinning my wheels doing, spending all my time here in America. And so people might want to get frustrated about that, but put yourself in my position. Um, you've got, you know, I've been doing this for a very long time. People still ask me to come out and run all these tournaments at their locations, but the bottom line is it's still a business right now. It's a business for sure. And uh, so and, and as long as I've been doing this now, I think I've earned the right to ask the question, what's in it for me? Uh, I'm not going to come go to the, all these places where uh, I, I, the skill level is not that good where you know me or a random person out of mexico just come up and win for free i mean it's just i don't see where that's worth my time to go to these tournaments at all and i'm starting to wonder if it's even worth my time to have someone else run these tournaments uh for the company I mean, just like like webster just I don't, I don't see a purpose why why are we doing this there's gonna be people that are gonna play these games for one day before they come out just for the tournament and play why should i bother this if we know people like justin Warren are gonna win in the east coast because people don't or aren't that good or they're not that skilled. Why am I wasting my time doing that? I mean, that's what I'm wondering. When I could just go to Mexico and, you know, get what I want, I want and and what I need uh, from that regard. So, uh, in regards to the USS community, it's still. I mean, you can take a look at that thread that Webster created. But the bottom line is, to me, it still seems it's still the same. Uh, spinning away your wheels. You got a bunch of, you know, people talk talking and you know, constructive criticism is okay. But once again, I mean, people you have to understand from a constructive criticism point of view. Uh, people know everybody can talk, you know, that's great. But which people are you more than likely going to listen to? The people that have probably have experience at least doing this type of things, right? I mean, if you just listen to any random person on the street, he could be leading you astray, right? So you want to listen to somebody that, you know, you feel that knows what they're talking about, that they have experience doing something remotely that. So which means I don't listen to all of you, but some of you, I mean, I've been, the problem is I've been listening to a lot of you just offered me these suggestions for the past five years, and the bottom line is it's still spinning its wheels. And it's not just, as I say, it's not just me doing this. It's bigger than me. You got people like the answer, Gibby, taking suggestions from all the people, and it's still the same thing. Still spinning your wheels. You still got people that are, I'm going to hate, I'm going to say it again, at a very, very low level play. Very, very low level play. And uh, like I say, it's just, you're just still spinning your wheels. So um, I'm going a different direction with this, and I'm uh, shifting more towards Mexico, meaning, you know, the only reason I'm going to be holding, trying to hold a lot of tournaments here in America overall is, you know, with 13 to give it a shot. Other than that, I mean, all my stuff is focused towards Mexico for the most part because I'm tired of the low level of play that I'm running into here. I'm, I'm really tired of it, and I'm tired of the, uh, you know, all of the, the drama. I mean, it, just, it seems like five years later, and they're still at the same freaking place. And I'm sorry, but I want no part of that. Uh, my, like I said, my car is moving ahead. I've got stuff planned. Mexico versus Peru. Uh, I managed to salvage the remains of this um, tournament uh, this weekend of all versus what was it, what was it going to be. And I managed to turn it into something that people are looking forward to now. With We got Abraham confirmed, Ruletas, Bart, and Luis Cha all confirmed for this tournament this weekend. which is uh, And we're going to try to do a four versus four with the north versus south. And, you know... Um, I feel like the people in Mexico, they're going to appreciate that. People in America, it's like, you know, same stuff. Well, why aren't we getting it in America? Why aren't we getting it in America? Why aren't you getting all this stuff in America? It's because, once again, I don't even feel, I don't see the progress. I'm not seeing tangible benefits. I'm not seeing where people look like they're actually taking these games seriously. It looks like they're just buying the time with them. And other stuff that I've said countless number of times that I'm not going to repeat because it just seems like a broken record. And that's the point. If, the, if history is going to keep repeating itself, then I'm not going to have any part of it. I'm going to, you know, change it. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm changing it and I'm updating y'all because I know I'm going to do this every year and I'm not going to stop. But just letting y'all know now, more of my, my focus is going to be like 90% of the countries, 10% in the United States. 10% being places like, you know, Minnesota, California, and places where I feel people are appreciative. Not these other places where, where like most of the United States where the skill level is not even close to where it needs to be. Remotely close where it needs to be. And I mean, it's just no. I mean, sorry, but... 
I, I just know. I mean, and, and these other tournaments, guys, I'm sorry, but I might not, I'm, as I told you before, I'm not going to go to them if I don't feel like there's anything in it for me. I mean, look at it for me or AI, people come in. You know, for me, I have my competition in Mexico. AI, people have their competition there. Why would you want to lure them? What's going to lure us? What's, what's going to be a reason for us to leave where we're, come, we're at? To go to enter Caleb 13 or these other things at these tournaments. Why? What reason is it? What, how does it benefit us to do this? That's what I wonder. What, how does it benefit us? I mean, if it's a money thing, sure, might go. And competition. Money and competition. If, even if it's just a competition, I'll go. But if there is no competition and I feel like it's going to be maybe one or two people there of decent skill, I just don't feel like it's worth, my, worth wasting my time when I can just focus my stuff back on the 90%. Which is the, you know, the Mexico stuff. And like I say, you people don't want to talk or whatever. You know, whatever. Like I say, anybody can talk. And, you know, it's uh, constructive criticism. is Like I said, it's okay. But once again, uh, I've, I've tried listening to everybody and implementing what people want me to say. And the bottom line is it's still going nowhere. still spinning in its wheels. So, uh, yeah, like I say, I appreciate constructive criticism. But it goes both ways. Uh, but the people that are offering this stuff, you know, you got to understand that the people that have the most experience are the ones that are gonna, I'm going to listen to first. Uh, and you got to also gotta understand it's not what you say, but how you say it. Uh, so that goes a long way with things. So just keep that in mind. But otherwise, though, like I say, uh, I'm going to be focusing more so on uh, on Mexico. That's that's what I'm doing, 90%. So you'll see stuff uh, from here on out. These updates are going to be the Mexican scene and uh, the Anaconda New York scene. It's comparing them both because they're both drastically different when it comes to SNK. Uh, you've got hungry people down there that are actually of, of skill, to play hard, you know, compete hard, appreciative. It's just it's like a 360-degree turn. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's really it, guys. So uh, that's it. I mean, I got to get ready for this tournament. It's going to be really good. We've got uh, 4v4, north or south, and we're setting up. We've got all these good tournaments we're setting up, and it's now just officially became a Wars National. El torneo es un nacional de Wars. Porque tenemos ruleta, hablam. Luis Chá en Bart está confirmados. Los traigo. Uh, Ivan, por eso, uh, el terminado sea muy bien. Uh, but that's really about it, guys. Uh, I'm going to go. I've got a flight to catch tomorrow. And so I uh, will talk to you later. Bye.